Hello, so I'm sitting here under this bridge uh, watching out both sides. It's been a bit misty rain and stuff at the moment, but I'm looking around, seeing if I can see any birds and things, and then I just look up there, and I won't repeat what I said, but there's a koala. So now I've just got to try to get across the river, or the stream, really. Um, as you can see, we're sitting under the, I'm under the bridge here, and I was looking over this way for birds, when, let's make sure we know where he is, right there. Now I'm pretty sure it's a koala, but it could be a drop bear. You just never know in Australia, everything's out to kill you. It's been a while since I've seen a koala. This bloke was keeping an eye on me as I was filming him. He is happy just to sit up there in the tree. This little Rufus Whistler was fairly high up in the tree, so it wasn't the best angle to film him at. But he was an interesting bird to see. Okay, so the birds have taken a back seat at the moment. Due to fact, I found a nice supply of blackberries. The only problem is, someone else has been here picking them and got all the easy ones. And I'm wearing shorts today. So I'm going to be very scratched, I reckon. Okay. Oh, look at them. This one's in here. There's another bunch there. Oh. Focus your bloody thing. Look at the size of them. Well, I'm going to pick a few of these. And then probably get out of here. So I'm still here picking, um, but it turns out I had a plastic bag in my camera pack, so I'm going to be able to get a, a fair few before I get out of here. But I think my legs are, are probably going to be scratched a bit, but it's worth it. They taste pretty good. There was less blood than I thought, so I done alright this time. Normally I've got blood running out everywhere. As you can see, I've got a bit of blood coming out of my legs, but it was totally worth it. I got a fair few blackberries and I found another patch here. So I was just over there. Um, so I'm going to pick these ones and then I should move back on to doing a bit of bird watching. Maybe go up the hill a bit further. This is where I was actually planning on going. There's a, supposed to be a walk up there. So I'll see if I can get up to there after I've picked most of these blackberries. I cooked the blackberries with some apple and just added a bit of cream and they were nice. This is a female superb fairy wren. There was a group of crimson rosellas just feeding in the paddock. As you can see some of them are green. They're actually the young ones. Most crimson rosellas leave the nest green, except for the race in Queensland that come out already red. There's a fully colored one. There's plenty of trees in the area flowering, which was attracting the honey eaters and a few other birds. As you can see, there's a lot of trees along the creek. I 
Oh look, a second koala, not far from the first one. So the plan was to go to Little River Gorge, but I decided to take a turn up a track through a cow paddock and ended up in the clouds. When I came around a corner there was a pair of Australian hobbies sitting on the track and they appear to be eating small stones and from the research I've done they swallow them they get coated in uh, fats and things in the crop and then they regurgitate them to get rid of that muck out of them. I pulled up near a dam and as I did a pair of black ducks flew off, then I noticed an Australian gebe with a chick. And there it goes, getting a ride with mum. On this particular day the clouds were low and the hills were high. A common sight in Australia is the Australian magpie. And this is about when I realised there's now an ant walking around on my lens. There he goes again. And again. Okay, so I've made it to a, a lookout here in the Snowy River National Park. I was not planning on being up here. So, um, it does say it's, was it 1.6 Ks or 1.5 hour return? Um, so there's the start of it. The only thing is, I wasn't actually prepared to be out here when it's cold. And also I didn't tell anyone where I was going, so no one knows I'm here. Which is never a good start. There's another track over here up to an old uh, tree. So we'll see what it's like later when I get back. So at the moment I'm just going to change my shoes because I've got my boots on, I've got sneakers on. Pack some water and go for a walk. We'll see what we find. Okay, so I'm now heading down the track. The car park's just there behind me. I have sent off a message, hopefully that might go out at some point if I get some reception, just to let someone know exactly where I am. Um, I probably should look into some GPS system or something for when I do this next time, because it's kind of a little bit dangerous, but I've got water with me. Um, yeah, that's about it. I really am not prepared for this, but it's only a short walk, but it's mainly just the, how far away from town I actually am. Um, I did see a couple of cars on the way up here but it doesn't look like it gets that much traffic through here so hopefully I'll make it out. If you're seeing this video I most likely did. It was a very steep track so I was only taking small steps at the start but it 
did get a bit flatter in certain areas and you could speed up but it's just coming back out was really hard work So I've made it to the lookout. I still might wander back up here and show you this sign. So yeah, don't go off the cliff sideways. I'm not too sure. I think it just means don't be an idiot and get too close to the edge. So I'm actually been down and had a look over yet. I just went down and sat my bag over there somewhere. Um, so go and have a look, see what's over the edge and not fall. I think it was worth it. Might have been better on a nice sunny day, but overall I think it looks pretty good. So I suspect you in fact we're in the Snowy River National Park and the sign here says Snowy River, that would be the mighty snowy river trickling through there. There's a colony of bell mag uh, yeah, bell bell miners, that's the one I was looking for. I think they're over here. Yep. And over the edge. This would actually be a great place for a drone to fly out from. Okay, time to make our way back to the car. And then maybe take that other walk. See what happens. It's a bit of a steep track here. You can see the trunks of the trees are black. That's where a fire has gone through. The Australian bush requires fire to regenerate. There'll be a full list of birds that were seen on this trip in the description.
Okay, so I've made it back to the car park. It took a fair while to get down there and back, um, mainly because videoing and doing a bit of birding on the way, so it takes a, a bit longer. Um, my hand's getting cold, the sweat's pouring out of me, and it's getting late, so I'm not going to be able to make it up to the, the big tree. I don't know how far in it is, it doesn't actually say. So if you want me to come back and, and go up there, um, hit the like button, it'll leave a comment. If you've enjoyed coming along on this little adventure on my birding day, um, also give it a like and leave a comment and I, I might make some more. So now I'm going to head off back down to town before it gets dark and probably, well, hopefully check in with people so that they know I've made it back even though they haven't missed me yet. So I feel like that tree was just in the uh, bush there, not too far. So I'm going to have to go back and just see how far in it was. but. I think it was just a, a couple of minutes in. So after I left there, I found these cockies and a few other birds on the way back down. So behind me is the W Tree Waterfalls, um, but there doesn't seem to be that much water going over. Last time I was here there's a fair bit, so if I can find those photos or video or something, I might put that up at the end. Um, but this definitely I'm signing off now from this video, so make sure you check out my Instagram and maybe even my Patreon page to help me out get more of these videos made. So hopefully you enjoyed it, and I'll give you a better look at the waterfall. There is some moisture there.